Hi YouTubers, this is Al again. It's uh, November 11th on Sunday afternoon. Uh, we went to church early this morning and then we ate and did a few more things. Uh, it's been a while since I've done an update. Uh, but uh, my wife Jerry and my boy Danilo have been busy all weekend since yesterday helping me put all these panels. I finally got all the DuPont panels. There's 20 of them, so that's two kilowatts of these panels here plus my uh, sharp uh, 224 watt panels there's eight on the other side that's 1.6 kilowatts so that, i got 3.6 kilowatts total and i'll show you later how the uh, end phase uh, inverters for each one of those sharp panels are putting out but i'm getting one and a half kilowatts at peak noon uh, about one o'clock or so it lasts about two hours at peak power and then obviously it goes up and down because uh, you know i'm not tracking uh, so I'm getting almost full power out of these things in the winter time, which is uh, awesome. So I'll show you the graphs on that. These guys here, likewise, are going to put out just as much power, if not more. Uh, contrary was to what most people will tell you on, on uh, YouTube and you see on the comments, these uh, thin film panels are actually more efficient in producing power under heat than uh, any of the monocrystalline or polycrystalline panels. That is a fallacy that these panels the thin film is not as good. It's actually, they're not as, as efficient. Each one of these panels you can see by the size compared to a sharp panel. Uh, these DuPont panels are thin film. They only produce 100 watts. So the surface area required to produce power is a hell of a lot more than a uh, polycrystalline panel. However, the polycrystalline and monocrystalline panels lose efficiency dramatically and rapidly in the heat of the day. And you say here in South Texas, that is not a good thing. Because nine times or nine months out of the year, we are, you know, 85, 100, 105 degrees, you know, usually north of 80 degrees. And these panels here actually produce more power when they're hot than when they are cold. So these panels will make me a lot more money in the long run than those. And yes, they occupy a lot more space. That's two kilowatts. That's 1.6 kilowatts big difference I'm proud of you too guys <laughs> well, the Lord has blessed me tremendously by having such a good wife and such a good boy that help out so much they've been here on the roof you can see doing plenty of work Danilo has been doing a lot of work helping out with the panels and handing me all the tools and the screws and mom she's been busy holding the panels while I put them in place and doing some of the wiring that you see there so she's been very busy and actually giving me a lot of work a lot of a lot of hand with uh, a lot of help with the boards here so she's been a really good trooper <laughs> hi guys I love you I love you too, love you too. <laughs> so this is the update for now I will uh, do another update sometime by next weekend in which I will tie all these things together finally uh, start bringing all the cables in and tie it all together. But I'll show you one thing. Uh, these panels uh, use the MC3 connectors, which you'll hear also and you'll read. They're not as good because they'll say, well, they'll come off and that's the reason they went to MC4s. And therefore the panels with MC MC3 cables or connectors are cheaper. Don't believe anything that you read until you do your own research. Uh, normally the, the people that have had problems with MC3 connectors because these plain people don't know how to use them. Uh, if you were to use an MC3 cable, I'll show you here, sorry about that, but I'll, I'll show you what they look like. One end plugs into the other. If you just plug it in like that and leave it, they are going to work loose. So you don't do that. They are meant to use these clamshells. And that retains them in place. And they are dirt cheap. I bought a whole box of them. As you can see, that's what they look like. When you have these uh, connectors end to end, uh, they'll simply come in here and there's there's a groove that you'll see there see that grooving here matches that grooving here and you just cover them up snap them in place and they'll stay so thank you guys for all the help you are You're welcome daddy <laughs> God bless everyone enjoy your Sunday, this is what Sundays are all about. And being together with the family and blessing the Lord, enjoying the Lord's blessings. And having fun. That's right, and having fun.
See ya. God bless y'all.